Hi, Dawn Barr here with Home Smart Real Estate in the Mesa Gilbert area in Arizona. And today I want to talk about a question that might be weighing heavily on your mind. Should I wait or should I buy? So let's get right into our current real estate market. It is the end of May 2022. In the last couple of years, we have had a very hot seller's market. It is still a seller's market, but it's not as crazy as what it has been. Our supply has gone up and demand has gone down, largely in part of interest rates. Interest rates have gone up and <laughs> we got used to the two and a half and three and a half percent and now they're at five and a half percent or maybe even a little more. So that allowed buyers to qualify for a higher priced home. In fact, on a $600,000 mortgage, from 3.5% to 5.5%, the payment goes up almost $700 more a month. So that really changed some things for buyers on whether or not they could qualify for that home. The good thing now for buyers is that you don't have necessarily the competition that you had before. Because our demand has gone down, there's not near the buyers competing for the homes. The nice thing is, and I should back up, a, back up, because there are still homes depending on condition and location and even the price that are still seeing multiple offers, appraisal waivers, inspection waivers. But for the most part, we are seeing homes stay on the market longer. And again, you may not have the competition that you would have had at the first part of this year. So why is that good for you? Because, and I never ever had a buyer waive the appraisal and I really don't ever want to see a buyer do that. And that's a whole nother talk. But the way that the market is changing, you shouldn't have to waive the appraisal, not the inspection or a shortened inspection. And you may even be able to ask the seller to pay for the home warranty, some concessions, and maybe even get some repairs done that weren't possible prior. So that is one of the big reasons that you may want to consider buying now because you don't have the competition. Now, the other thing is, it depends on your situation. Are you looking to stay in that home long term? If so, no matter what the market is doing, it may make sense for you to buy a home. Instead of paying a landlord, you're now putting that rent towards your own mortgage payment and paying down the principal. There also can be a tax benefit to owning your own home. You may be able to write off some of that interest. I am not a tax person. Reach out to your person that does your taxes and ask that question. Also, to me, the biggest reason that you may want to buy a home now is for pride of ownership. It is yours. Rental rates have gone up tremendously. And you might not want to be forced to be in that position where you worry about whether or not the landlord's going to raise your rent. Is the landlord going to sell your home? If you buy a home yourself, that is yours. There's that pride of ownership. You can make changes to that home that you want to and not have to ask permission of a landlord. So again, it really depends on you, but I would, I would consider talking to a lender or a real estate agent if you're even thinking about it. And a good realtor or lender will be a teacher, an advisor, and help you make the decision if it is the right time or not. And if it's not now, let them help guide you because maybe it does make more sense to save money for a down payment. And maybe you'll be ready to purchase in a year from now, two years from now. But talk to those professional individuals that can help guide you. If you're thinking about moving to the Phoenix area, if you look down below in the description, there is a link to a Phoenix area relocation guide. Also, if you have any questions about the current market, 
please don't hesitate to reach out. And I would so appreciate if you liked my channel and subscribed. Thank you for listening. Thank you.